Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video. My third video of today, I know. I literally just filmed my Sting in the Police unboxing. Obviously, you'll see that in this video. Um, but here's yet another media update. Uh, can you call books media? <laughs> but still, you know what I mean. Uh, and this is gonna be, let's see, what, what CD update number is this? Uh, CD update. Gotta go on a, sorry about this, I should have prepared for this a bit better, I know. Uh, media updates. Been a little while since I've done one of these, I reckon. Um... Just waiting for my stupid frickin' internet to load up my... There we go. Alright. Alright, this is CD update. Number 11, I think. CD update number 11. Book update number 1. Yeah. But I am considering. If you think I should do this... I am considering this. Do you think I should retcon my comic book update from 2016 into being book update number one and then retcon this video that you're watching right now to be book update number two? What do you think of that? Please let me know. Even though I doubt many people will watch this. Um, but yeah, today is August 5th, 2021, y'all. Like I say, this is my third video today. Uh, and I just did the Sting unboxing, Sting and the Police CD unboxing, if you watch my unboxing there, that's kind of ironic how I, you know, <laughs> but, um, my first video of tonight, which was, I read Dune for the first time, that was filmed, like, almost 24 hours ago, and it's, like I said, almost, it's still August 5th, 2021, right now, and, uh, the same day, uh, I've, uh, I've had two naps since then, and, uh, I, I did that video at, like, midnight, y'all, uh, even though, y you know what I mean, um, let me see, yes, I was right, CD update number 11, um, you're probably looking at my media updates folder, being like, what? How's this number 11? Alright. It's a long story. Alright. Um, but yeah. Anyways. Here's my latest media update, y'all. For once, I don't have movies. Which is weird. I still love movies. But I've been super into all this stuff lately. If I didn't... I'm pretty sure I said it in a video... But I have fallen back in love with music, y'all. And I'm so happy I did. I have four CDs. Four books. And you guys saw my Cedar Chucky post unboxing, didn't you? I kind of just remembered this, actually, but... Here, you can go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and look at the webcam at the same time and see if it got on camera. There's my signed John Cena shirt. Yep, that's my Cedar Chucky poster. Right there, y'all. Fear. The second coming. But next to my beloved John Cena, WWE, and Rick and Morty posters. I am rooting for my man John Cena to defeat Roman Reigns at SummerSlam to win the Universal Championship. All right. Putting it out there in the universe if I haven't already. Manifesting that. I want it so bad. I'm trying my best. But anyways. I apologize. Almost five minutes in this video and I haven't gotten to talking about any of the actual things I got. Alright. Let's go on with the CDs. Now let's start this off. Let's get the one I just did. Done with. Um... Very best of Sting and the Police. Love the Police. Love Sting the Musician. Not Sting the Wrestler. I mean, I'm not saying I don't love Sting the Wrestler. I love Sting the Wrestler, but 
what I was saying that this was for Sting the Musician. Um, you can see the track list in there. Hopefully you can see it if you pause it. Pause the video, I mean. Uh, and there's the disc, which I did just show. I did not look inside the booklet, though. See what the, the booklet has got for us. Just the songs. That's it. That's it. I've never seen this before. Just to listen to the songs. Like, you could have easily made this like a teeny little pamphlet poster thing. And just... Alright. Still cool, though. You know, it's, that's still cool. You know, it's what's on the music that counts. Um... Staying in the police. Uh, now I'm, I'm just gonna just go to the next one. The next CD I got the last. There are four CDs, by the way, if I didn't already say it. Um, the last of the best of slash greatest hits type CDs. We got the Clash, the singles. I've only actually listened to one of these CDs so far, by the way. I mean, I have I have listened to like the songs on YouTube like a lot since then but like not actually listen to the cd you know what i mean only one of these cds i've actually listened to and it's, it was on my dvd play actually which is probably not how which is not how i want to listen to cds i'm really hoping this is something else i'm manifesting putting it out there in the universe that my grandmother and she is thinking about it that my grandmother gifts me um her cd player her cd stereo player to me as a birthday present, because my birthday is quite soon, y'all. Um, the Clash, the singles, I unboxed this as well. Um, I unboxed this in the dining area, actually. Um, there's the CD, and the back, and yeah. And now, the albums. Like the studio albums, we got The Strokes is the set with that sexy ass slut on the cover. This is the international cover, of course, and the international version of this album, too. Uh, there's a track on here that's, that's on the international copies of this album. New York City Cops, a song I'm excited to listen to. Um, and it has a different song on the US version of this album, um, which is on the Spider-Man soundtrack, actually, so that's pretty cool, and I actually, I, don't, I, I might have mentioned this in this unboxing, but I actually searched up, I actually searched up the song that was in Spider-Man, and I was like, alright, I bet I'll rec, because I've seen Spider-Man a trillion times, the original Spider-Man film with Tobey Maguire, directed by Sam Raimi, I've seen that a billion times, that was like one of the first movies I ever watched in my life, and, um, and I, and I listened to it, and I was like, um, I don't remember the song at all. And then I searched up Spider-Man, The Strokes, Scene. And then I was like, oh my gosh, it was in, it was on the car with that, that Mary Jane's friend when she was picking her up. <laughs> it's like, how am I supposed to know that? Like, oh man, anyway. So that's it, The Strokes. As I said, I haven't listened to this yet, all the way through. But someday, it's got to be my favorite song from this, uh, quite easily, actually. From what I've listened to, I, I actually do hope that I'll listen to another song on this album, and, uh, and, uh, and be like, um, no, that's my favorite now, hopefully, um, that's the CD, um, thank you, reminds me of those. I don't know how to say it. DVD ads when for Australian and New Zealand DVDs when the guys like thank you for purchasing this. The members, this is this is cool. This is this is cool. All right, this is really cool. Julian Casablancas, the singer. He kind of looks like uh, kind of looks a little bit like Adam Pacitti. <laughs> A little, a little teeny bit. But anyways, let's hope I can close this up all good. Yeah, I'm glad I opened that for the camera. You know, of course I would have been shocked and, and like surprised in a good way. Like, 
if I looked at this by myself, but, you know, to get on camera, that's the bomb. Final CD, and then we're going to go on to all the books, and all the books are the main event, y'all. Okay, all the books are the main event. Now, the final CD, the first of these CDs that came in, is one of my favorite albums of all time. The only CD I've listened to so far on my DVD player, I hopefully I, I get that uh, CD stereo for my birthday. Marilyn Manson, Mechanical Animals. One of my favorite albums ever. This released 10 days before I was born in 1998. Um, shame, shame about the freaking, uh, like, I feel like I can't really, like, the, the middle of the disc holder is broken, man. Look at this. It's like I'm just placing it on a table or something, you know what I mean? That's uh, disappointing, you know, but maybe I'll replace this uh, CD case. Maybe. Um, but anyway, it's all the CDs done. And now let's get on to the books. Again, if you think I should retcon this to being book update number two, uh, and my my first comic book update from 2016, make that book update number one and just retcon this to being book update number two instead of number one. Let's get it. Like I said, all four of these books are the main event of this video. And I'm just going to show all four of them at once. Dune! Every Dune book that I didn't have before this update, obviously. I now own every single Dune book. As you guys know, I finished... I finally, after almost two years finished reading the original Dune book, and now I have every single book. Uh, I loved the original Dune to death. It was amazing. I, I'm i excited to read Dune Messiah. I might do that tomorrow. I might start Messiah tomorrow, but uh, yeah, um, I'm very excited to own every single Dune book. The original Frank Herbert Dune books. Um, I'm iffy, I'm, I'm extremely iffy, actually, about getting the Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson books, because I heard they're, they're inconsistent and all that. Um, however, if somebody, you know, gave me a gift that was a Brian Herbert Dune book, I would gladly accept it. I would give it a read, you know? But every single Dune book um, I now own, I got the original Dune for my 21st birthday, in 2019, um, Dune Messiah, which is the second Dune book for Christmas that same year in 2019, um, Children of Dune, which is the third book, I was in a, I, it was Children of Dune, Heretics of Dune, and Chapter House Dune, actually, that all came in like a triple bulk set on Trade Me, the auction site that I told you guys about. That I love bidding stuff on. I was the starting bid. $28. Right when. It was almost over. Somebody bid. And then I went to. Make my own other bid. And it turns out that guy. Put a freaking auto bid. On it. An auto bid. You never know. If. If your next bid will be the last of the previous guy's set auto bid. You know what I mean? It's extremely frustrating, man. Um, so I was in a huge war. I did not have the money to be able to actually afford when I won it. Obviously, you know I won it because I'm showing the books here. It went up to $73 before I finally won. I was just in the moment, bro. Uh, my auntie wasn't entirely happy with me, but I own every single Dune book now, but yes, Children of Dune, the third book, very excited to read all these, of course, of course, I gotta read Dune, Dune Messiah next, and I hear Dune Messiah's, it sounds like, from what I heard, I, I haven't actually played this game yet, by the way, The Last of Us Part 2, 
I heard that it was a very, like, um, it was all about, like, subverting your expectations and being set in reality. I heard that's what Dune Messiah is like, and that sounds amazing to me, actually. Um, but yes, Children of Dune, um, this one I'm most excited to read, because I heard so many people say, this is the best one, this is the best one, and, uh, I've heard people say, like, of course, this is the best one, but also, I saw a comment recently saying that this book has Christopher Nolan vibes to it, and that is just amazing! Just amazing! God Emperor of Dune, I unboxed this, uh, recently. It's nice to see this bad boy in one of my videos again. I hope I love it the most. Um, when I get to reading it, I hope I... Imagine if I think, if I end up thinking the original Dune was the weakest book. Because that's amazing, like, in... Imagine if I just thought every single other book was better. Like, oh my gosh. Like, that would be crazy. Um, God Emperor of Dune. Let you. See that. Lovely. Book five. Heretics of Dune. And the final one, the unintended final book of the Dune saga, before, f um, because Frank Herbert was writing a seventh book to be, like, the end of this new trilogy he was, that he'd done. Because God Emperor was supposed to be, like, the bridge between the original Dune trilogy and the second Dune trilogy. But it ended here. Unfortunately, he passed away before he could finish it. Which sucks so much, man. But Chapter House Dune, the final book. I know there's a character in here named Audrade or something like that. Um, which is a cool-ass name, I I'll say. Uh, and I saw, like, a fan cast for that character. And I, uh, I didn't see that it was a female. Like, wow, it's a female? Because I saw someone cast, fan cast, of course, Rosamund Pike. As Adrade. That's that's cool, mate. But yes, that's my newest media update, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm not proud of my weight right now. Alright, I hopefully... I want to water fast for the next two days. Alright, I'm so over trying to lose weight, man. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not happy with... In general, I am happy. I'm really enjoying life right now. I'm not happy with how my buddy is right now. I know that's a weird sudden change of topic. But I wanted to point that out in case this was distracting the whole video or something. But thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. And uh, leave comments. Uh, hopefully nice comments. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. And uh, peace out, y'all.